Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company, and I'm going to talk to you about smoky quartz. Um, smoky quartz is obviously in the quartz family, and it's di distinguished by its color. So when you're looking at smoky quartz, it's going to have that black to brownish color that's really dark. Um, I love smoky quartz and love pairing it with things because it's actually... Um, kind of gives that black and brown. So you can wear it with both. It's a great mixing stone. I mix it with a ton, a ton of different um, stones. It looks great with rose quartz. It brings out that red and the pinkishness of the rose quartz. I also mix it a lot with picture jasper um, and with amazonite. I love the look of it with amazonite. Um, it gets its color from silicone um, and by natural aeration. Most of it is heat treated. So when you're looking at smoky quartz, it's really hard to find in its natural, natural color and its brilliance in its color. So most of the stuff that we have here is heat treated. That being said, it's not unnatural. It's just got that heat treating property that's been done to it. Um, it's harder than glass and that's a lot of, when you're looking at the quartz, a lot of it is kind of as smooth as glass. You're gonna notice though, um, the quartz, you almost stick to it with your fingers. So if you're doing a check that you're trying to figure out the difference between quartz and glass, glass will be really smooth and you just kind of slip off of it when you're the quartz it's almost like your fingers kind of stick to it as you go it's still smooth and you're still going to get that smooth effect um what it's what it is is um metaphysically it's going to be for um heat and calmness it has that kind of nice see-through texture to it and they say it gives positive thoughts and positive energy and um it strengthens the back and fortifies the nerves it regulates the liquid in the body so people have fluid retention uh, a lot of times they'll wear the smoky quartz in order to help with that kind of fluids and if they have salt um, salt regulation problems. The smoky quartz is going to be different qualities of quartz. When it's not as um, transparent, the darker it is, the kind of nice color, it's going to get um, a little bit pricier than the regular. The small faceted stuff also is going to be pricier. This here is wrapped in gold filled um, wire and has a hole through it. We have these at some of our stores and it looks really really brilliant. It kind of shines nicely. We also have a lot of pendants, some cabs too. Um, so take a look in the cases at the PBC locations and you can see the different smoky quartz that we have. Again if you're not sure what you're going to do with smoky quartz I say buy it. Um, it is probably my number one mixing stone that I mix with different things. Again, I love to mix it because it can go brown or black either way. So it doesn't limit your stones when you're working with them or wearing them to say, oh, I don't want the look of, you know, a black stone with my uh, Amazonite. I want a gray stone or a blue stone or this really lends itself to different colors. So when you're looking at the smoky quartz, um, it's going to lend itself to black, brown, and it just brings out really the nice, nice tones in a lot of the stones that it's paired with. So I call this kind of my number one mixing stone. And um, I always have six millimeter rounds kind of on hand at my house, ready to use and to mix with anything. Also, I love the four millimeter faceted rounds. So check out us on YouTube, um, our rest of our videos, and also on Facebook, like us and post and interact with us and tell us which stones are your favorite.